Welcome back to Need for Speed Heat. Today we're customizing the Evo 10. Let's go outside and have a quick listen, shall we? Very nice indeed. So that again is our first listen to the Evo 10. And uh, it sounds pretty right. I mean, <laughs> I'm not too knowledgeable about the Evo 10. I have it's not been available in games for a, for a good while, like a, a Need for Speed game, should I say? I want more Need for Speed games to have the Evo 10, and they've added it in this game. Thank the gravy lords of everything. I'm super glad to finally get customizing this thing again. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with Need for Speed Heat. You're in the right in the place, world. my friends. You no, <laughs> no, no, no. We're going straight for the Evo 10, throwing on. The beautiful wide body kits available. There's multiple of them, and that makes it all the better. So, the Evo 10 is one of those cars. It's it's a very recent love. B before this, I don't know why. I've only just started to love this car so much. I think it's probably because it's the final one, which, to be fair, it might not be. They're looking at, I believe bringing it back, which is great news. Great news for Car Thieves. It was at one point going to be killed, become a crossover, but they scrapped that idea and they're making a proper one again, at least they're speaking about doing so. So anyway, the only point I would say, everything on this car is great. The rear bumper customization, I was speaking about this before. And the huge wings, it's very nice. Uh, I was speaking about this before in that it seems like the new cars have more modern updated customizations. The customization's next level compared to what it used to be in Need for Speed. So, you saw the bumper. We picked the bumper, and now we're going to pick an exhaust. Which brings me on to my only downside about the Evo 10. The Evo 10 is known to have been the biggest, meatiest exhaust you've ever seen in your life. And unfortunately, in heat, it doesn't. They're kind of small. For an Evo 10, you need, you need the big exhaust. Anyway, we then put on a diffuser, and it changes the whole rear bumper. That is actually ridiculous so this rear bumper singular is not there's probably about 20 different versions of it the customization of this evo 10 shows the difference between the new and the old cars in need for speed and i would love to see some bits like this added to the likes of some of the older cars the next new level in detail in customizations for these cars I said it try and second guess the wing, but I was like, nah, 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 nah. I like the plates on the back. And he's got window wangs from Speed Hunters. Thank you very much. Evo 10 with window wangs. Don't mind if I do. Now, I was pretty set early on with this car. We ain't changing the red. I'm sorry, we ain't changing the red. It's fantastic. That body kit lines up perfectly with the rear arch there. We've got a decent amount of wing mirrors. I'm going to say the new cars also have a nice selection of wing mirrors. Wish there was a carbon option of the standard on every car. That would be nice, but I guess you could just paint that now, right? I guess you could. Now, my favorite piece of this is the lights. We've got aftermarket lights. I wish we had tints on those lights too. That would be quite nice. And then the front bumper... This kit is actually incredible. And it would look to look... I was trying to debate on whether to go with that or a different one. But then I went down and saw the beautiful diffuser to match. And I was sold. Perfect. I love this Evo 10. Now, granted, if you've seen me create the car on the app, it's probably the exact same car. But the difference here is we have the chance to go full in depth with all the customization options available, including engine swaps now i didn't actually do one but i did show all the engines applicable to this and i don't know about you something about the evo 10 i feel like every single time i get this car i want to throw a bigger engine in it and you can throw some pretty aggressive engines in here i honestly feel like this car would perfectly fit a six cylinder a flat six a straight six a V6, anything with six cylinders, okay? Cheeky red trim around the wheel there, looking very spicy indeed, of course. <laughs> Doing the same to the rear. That's still, still not a thing in the end game. Putting on the red underglow to match. Now, the difference with this video, normally we've been doing races as soon as we build these cars. We are going into the night. The fitment of this car, the, the lowering is good. I would say that's pretty good. I, it could be better. Uh, we can throw bags on as well. Actually, we do throw on the air suspension. And it's a realistic amount. Like, I wouldn't lower my car any lower than this on static. 
I just wouldn't. It's ridiculous. What would be nice, though, to see in the future, I think, is the next level of bags. Stage, bag stage two. that are very expensive and they're adjustable. And you can set your, your drive kind of height and your park height and your off height. That kind of thing would be pretty sweet. So this car, we are building to have track set up. Now, there is a... Uh, difference here. There's track and usually speed and there's a bunch of different setups that you can do uh, and essentially we're equipping race and track on everything. So this is the grippiest Evo you've ever heard. That's probably my favorite V6 there. Very nice indeed. I very much would love to equip one of those, but I didn't have the money to, to do so. Oh. Oh, 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 the tone and the aggressive pops. Yes. And let's finish it off. Making it a little bit more metallic than it was a standard. There we go. The beautiful Evo 10 is finally fully customized. But as I said, we're going into the night with the Evo 10 to do it a little bit differently as to the norm. Because obviously, every other video we've been doing is racing in the day. I would love to show you now Grippy Boy in the night. So there's a race event right across from us. That's the perfect event for us to do. It's a sprint event. My favorite. And my favorite. I love the pops on this car. So you can clearly tell now that we've made the pops, the, the overrun more aggressive. It pops a lot more, like, like actual pops, not just burbles. There's actual pops in there, and it's fantastic. And it's kind of, it's kind of weird playing Evo Speed without the actual music playing. But again, that fitment is pretty darn good, especially considering like that. That would, that would, that would scratch on every. There's a, there's a problem actually. I need to mention uh, when your car is too grippy, you launch too well. <laughs> Anyway, in, U in the UK, speed bumps would probably ruin the bottom of your car if you had it any lower than this. Actually, sorry, if you had it this low, it would ruin it. I scraped the Supra the other day, stock height. It's actually ridiculous. Actually ridiculous. Anyway, I'll try and gloss over that and not cry over the fact that I've scraped the bottom of a brand new car. The Evo 10 in grip is the first car I actually drove in grip. Now, we're going to have a video coming on Grip versus Drift very, very shortly. In fact, it's going to be the definitive video on said subject because, as I said before, I used to jump the gun a little bit with that kind of thing and ended up being, oh, I was using a lower-level car. Oh, I was using an earlier build of the game. That kind of thing. I was using an ideal situation setup tunes. And now we've gone to the point I've realized that that was kind of a mistake. So now we're... we're I am taking my time on these types of videos to give you the proper the proper rundown of what's going on but anyway the evo 10 fantastic 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 it was the first car i drove it does not drift at all it cannot it refuses it is impossible to get this thing to slide on grip and that is perfect it's all-wheel drive that's the way it should be you can see here no sliding whatsoever the only way you can slide is by doing the handbrake. And in this video, you'll actually see me attempt to do that, slamming on the handbrake for it to try and get it into a drift. It will it will slide. It will power slide. It's probably the best way I can explain it, but it will not drift. It will reduce its speed by like 100 in a second. It will refuse, no matter what, to drift. And it's perfect. You see, I even tried to pull the handbrake in the air there and rev it, and it still wouldn't spin. But... There you go. There you see. You see, I lost literally 90% of my speed in doing that handbrake. But here the police, the police are here to ruin my fun in the Evo 10, learning how the grip works on the final build of the game. And I've got to say, it actually works about the same as what I remember. In fact, it feels along the lines as it was. So very good. Anyway, as I say, I'll be talking a lot about that in a future video. Do not worry, my friends. I've got you covered in terms of that. Instead of spend a bit of time. <laughs> Apparently, if you hit a curb and a car at the same time, sometimes you may flip. Whatever. It's a small price to pay. It was a little bit of a, a glitchy. Not too bad. I wanted to include it, though, obviously, because I want to show you the full thing. 
I love the cops conversating in in this as well. But when they tell you to like, there's no backup available. Imagine some backup. <laughs> it's perfect. I love the cops in this game. The the, the chatter. <laughs> I love it. I love it. There's banter between the police, even though they're in an aggressive situation where they need to end you. It's what I want. So we've got the red NOS, I believe, with the red neons. We do have red tire smoke, but again, I, I don't equip tire smoke. Usually I'm not the tire smoke type of person, but equipping red tire smoke shows you how very little this car can actually drift. It's not going to happen, though, buddy. Oh, no, she actually did. She actually didn't call the extra units. See, this time I got onto heat level two. So maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. We already have a lot of damage. I think that big flip in the air that we did probably did some... Little racer. Probably did some significant damage to our car. Which, to be fair, I think it should. I did go up a curb. In real life, that's actually is not a glitch. It's more realistic. Because if I did go up a curb like that, I probably would flip. But anyway, we lost the police. We jumped to the garage. Enter the garage. The night is over. It's complete. That's how night kind of works for those of you that want well, to know. It's better than nothing. Better than nothing. I thought I did pretty good. I got 240k. No, I didn't. Uh, so the rep again is multiplied based on your heat level. So that is the final figure that you get. And it was a basic night. But anyway, that, my friends, was the Evo 10. Hopefully you did enjoy. Be sure to smash like if you did. Thanks so much for the support on Need Speed Heat videos. I've got a ton more to come, so don't you worry. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Until next time, peace.